information. Now at 6 o'clock, attacked at random. Portland police arrest a man accused of poking total strangers with a metal rod. Also this morning, routine takeoff followed by a quick turnaround. A JetBlue flight is forced to make an emergency landing at PDX after passengers reported hearing a loud thud. We now know exactly what that thud was. Also, if you don't know where it came from, don't eat it. The FDA pinpoints the source of the latest E. coli outbreak affecting romaine lettuce. Now the CDC says it's okay to eat romaine again as long as you check the label. And the season of giving is underway. Today is Giving Tuesday, and you're encouraged to donate to local nonprofits. We'll share a few ways you can give back. Also, grab your bike and check out the lights. Tonight, for one night only, you can cycle through Winter Wonderland out of Portland International Raceway. Again, no cars allowed tonight, Chris McGinnis. Cars should be allowed out there, period, this morning. We've had four crashes on the freeway since we first hit the air at 4.30. Two of those have cleared. This one has not yet. That's I-5 southbound just south of Corbett, left lane still blocked, and it's really tough to see that middle panel there, but through the rain and the fog, we've got a rollover crash on I-205 North. Uh, minimal or, or light injuries with that one, uh, not significant, but uh, the northbound right lane block just north of I-84. Bit of mess out there this morning. Absolutely. Thank you, Chris. And that's because of the rain. How yeah. are we looking as far uh, as it tapering off? Still timing the steady rain to break up over the I-5 corridor. Maybe as early as 7 this morning, certainly by 8 o'clock. I think we'll just be into showers with uh, what has been falling all night, moving well up into the Cascades. Uh, here's the radar this morning, and you can see from Longview down to Salem, it's still steady rain, but the heaviest rain already starting to move off to the east, and it's breaking into showers quickly back across parts of Washington and Yamhill counties and over the coast range in general. So we're starting to see the back end of all this. Uh, by the way, temperatures today are going to be easily warming up into the 50s. In fact, a lot of you are in the 50s right now. Salem currently reporting a number of 55 degrees. More on your forecast coming up shortly. Rod, thank you. The man accused of poking strangers with a metal rod over several days in Portland will be in court today. Our crew was there as officers arrested 37 year old Justin Venable. Police say he poked people four times between Saturday night and early Monday morning. Three of them happened on or near Southeast Hawthorne. Nobody was seriously hurt, but we did talk to one of the victims. I was out for a run, so I was just running and had headphones in, listening to music, and I just see a, a pedestrian, so I swerved to go around him, and he yells something I couldn't hear and stuck me in the neck. Well, Kirk managed to take a photo of Venable, and that helped officers eventually track him down. Venable is now in jail on three charges of harassment. Three minutes after 6 o'clock, and we have an update this morning on some developing news we first brought you last night here on KHW. Passengers on a JetBlue plane that was forced to return to PDX shortly after takeoff are now set to get on a new flight this morning. So here was the situation last night. That flight left PDX around 10 o'clock on its way to JFK in New York City. JetBlue says the plane then hit a bird shortly after takeoff. It was forced to turn around and circle the airport for about 30 minutes before finally making a safe landing. It is 6.03. It's time for your morning rush. That big storm that brought snow, winds, and travel headaches in the Midwest is now hitting New England. A foot or more is possible in northern New Hampshire and Maine. The storm threw a wrench in travel plans across the Midwest for thousands of people, with Chicago airports experiencing some of the worst disruptions. More than 1,600 flights got canceled, and more than 6,000 were delayed. The U.S. Forestry Service says a gender reveal party gone wrong sparked a massive wildfire. In this video shot in April, you can see the explosion that started the sawmill fire near Tucson. The fire burned almost 47,000 acres of state land in a little more than a week. No injuries were reported and no homes were lost. The man who started this pleaded guilty to a misdemeanor offense. Health officials say it's now okay to eat romaine lettuce again. Just check the label first. The FDA pinpointed the tainted lettuce to the Central Coast region of California. They think all of that lettuce, though, is off the market. Make sure to check the label before you eat the romaine. If it isn't labeled, labeled just avoid it. Salem City Council approved a plastic bag ban. Businesses will have to stop using plastic bags by April or September of next year, depending on the size of the business. They also have to charge five cents for a paper bag. Fox's new subscription service, Fox Nation, goes live today. It'll stream exclusive on-demand programming, including new documentaries and TV shows. It costs $5.99 a month, and there's also a seven-day free trial. That is your Morning Rush. 
Five minutes after six o'clock now, we turn to Winter Wonderland happening at a PIR. You can actually expect lots of LED upgrades, new light displays, all happening again at the Winter Wonderland Holiday Light Show this year. And tonight, grab your bike because you can ride on the track at a Portland International Raceway. So again, no cars or motorized vehicles tonight of any kind. In fact, no rollerblades, no strollers, not even any walking tonight on the track. It is a bike only affair. Winter Wonderland raises money for the Portland Police Bureau's Sunshine Division, their food and clothing assistance programs. Tickets are six bucks and can be purchased online through Eventbrite or any Portland area Albertsons or Safeway store. I believe that's six dollars is for tonight only during the cycling event. Kids 12 and under are free out at PIR tonight. Today, millions of Americans are kicking off the season of giving with Giving Tuesday. The focus is all about being charitable. That's right. Christine Pitawanich is live with us this morning in studio. Christine, there are, should we say, lots <laughs> of ways to give. Yeah, I think that's an understatement. Good morning, guys. There are so many ways to give and so many organizations to give to. And honestly, this Tuesday, this Giving Tuesday, is such a nice break from all the shopping Thank madness you. of Black Friday Merry and Christmas. Cyber Monday. Giving Tuesday is a day encouraging people to give charitably. There are a lot of organizations that make a difference, and we want to put a couple on your Thank radar much. that you may not have heard of. One is Play It Forward. It's one of several nonprofits hoping to benefit from Giving Tuesday. It donates money and gently used musical instruments to kids. Another is Skate Like a Girl, which teaches girls and boys how to skateboard while also promoting confidence and inclusivity. It was really hard because lots of people in the class know, know how to do it and I didn't. So I learned how to do it and I'm really good. Here at Woodlawn, a lot of kids get their first opportunity to step on a skateboard. I hope that people see value in what we do. And it is always a good idea to make sure the charity you're donating to is legitimate. CharityNavigator.org and CharityWatch.org are both really good resources for people to check out. But all those charities want people to know, don't just limit it to Tuesday. <laughs> right. You can give all year long. Yeah, absolutely. And you know, a lot of holiday shopping is underway. A, a lot of people purchase on Amazon. Well, there's an Amazon Smile website too, also run by Amazon. All the same products, prices, mm. the difference is a portion portion of the proceeds, all your purchases, it goes to a charity of your choice. And there are like a million organizations or more that can get proceeds. So easy. If you're going to buy it anyways, mm -hmm. you might as well go to the smile portion of the website yeah. and make sure it gives back. And it's smile.amazon.com. So super easy. Cool. Christine, thank you. Yeah.